Hi, I'm not Chloe. I read stuff sometimes. Today we're diamond painting. Beautiful. <laughs> there is a cat going crazy. Chuck! Oh, you have a toy! There's five cats in this house, so I apologize in advance for that. You want it thrown? I kind of hope you can hear him in the As camera. soon as we start talking, we're going to have to edit it out. going crazy. No, I'm not going to edit it. it out. I did. There he goes. I completely <laughs> missed it. All right. Welcome to my first Whip and Chat do working on Halloween Witch. Where's the cover for this? Because this is the only sticker I have. Okay. I'm going to show you this one. I'm working on Halloween Witch by Sarah Mustafa, or as I like to call her, Mufasa. Uh, I started this in 22. Chunk. Oh my god, you're gonna hear him running around. He's such a... Chunk. Chunk, yeah. I started this in Halloween 2022 and I've only been working on it during Halloween seasons, other than last year because I was stuck on Persephone. But, um, I brought it back out for the season of Spooky this year, so I'm slowly working on her. This is my sister, Tiffany. I've dragged her in to a diamond paint whip and chat with me because she's the one who got me into diamond painting and I needed to film this, so I said, come do this with me. Yeah. yeah. And I said, yeah, okay. Yeah. I guess I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> what are you working on? Um, I don't have a big picture. That's okay. This is Which Way by Molly Harrison. This is one of the older diamond paintings in my stash. I've had it for a long time. Have I been tempted to rebuy it with the tighter grid and the new packaging? Absolutely. But I didn't because I'm responsible. <laughs> so, but it's not bad. The gapping is a little, it's got a little gapping, but it's honestly fine. So, and yours is older too, right? Mm -hmm. This is a whole, I mean, I started working on it in 22, so it has to be older than that. But, um, I stole one of Tiffany's pens and her tray. I come here and I just steal dime painting stuff for you. And a cover binder. Um, firewood, firefly trays. Both of these are firefly. I just got them. This is the Ignite Extra Large. They are quickly becoming my favorite trays. And I have, like, mini made trays that I also love. But these are amazing. This is from Swampwood. Yeah? Swampwood, yeah. I have to remember. Swampwood um, Designs. He has some of my favorite. He's my one of my favorite turners. Anyways, my, uh, my sister is a pro diamond painter. I am not. But I'm the one who makes videos about it for some reason. We've been asking Tiffany, we're drilling. What is it? What is the term I want to use? We've been, well, like, not drilling you. What is the... What is the word I'm looking for? <sighs> Trying to gaslight me into diamond painting yeah, videos? Yeah. Gaslight me? Uh, she said she wanted to do coerce it first. Coerce me? Yeah, cohort. Coerce. coerce. She said she wanted to do it first, and then we bought her a bunch of stuff to do it, and then she never did it. I didn't so... buy a bunch of stuff. I have a, I have a ring light, and I have a tripod. Tripod. And, and a bunch of diamond machine. paintings. I do have a gotcha machine. <laughs> Not a gotcha, sorry. It's a claw machine that I was going to use. I might still, no one take that idea. If you do, I know where it came from. Oh. <laughs> There's already threats happening. I'm just kidding. You can cut that. <laughs> no, we're not cutting anything out. You don't week. edit these at all? Mm, I try not to. Like, the first two times I've had to edit out like sneeze bits cause in the middle of it I'll start sneezing and nobody wants to hear me just going sneeze. crazy, you know? Um, this is from, who does this pen? Donna Bass pens. I like this one. I like how skinny it is. It's one of, she does these really thin pens and I freaking, I love this pen so much because it's so small. This is also a swamp wood, if you can tell. I'm gonna steal this they, one. No, you're not. This is one of my favorites. These are from Randa's Crafty Corner. These. Just in case anybody wants to know. So usually for whipping shots, I do like life updates or like update what's been going on and that would be really depressing at the moment. So um, I got my sister in here to do it with me so that we can be depressing together. <laughs> um, there was a loss in our family, but we're just, we're trying to have fun and we're, we're having a time. So I'm not really gonna update about that much, but what we can talk about is books we've read or are reading. We went and saw Hozier, so we mm -hmm. can talk about Hozier. I love Hozier. 
Yeah, Tiffy has a new obsession with Hozier. But nothing like our mom who's and in love, love with, with him. him now. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We went to this concert and I liked him and our other sister liked him a lot. So we bought all just bought tickets together. And Tiffany and my mom kind of were just like, yeah, we'll go too. I knew his like popular stuff like that they play on the radio. That's like it. And that was two songs or three songs. What ones? Take Me to Church, Work Song. Eat Your Young? I do know Eat Your Young, but like not enough that I didn't recognize it right away. And that's also when I went to the bathroom. Yeah. Um, Too Sweet I knew, but I didn't know that that was Hozier. Oh. I think that's it. I think that's it. Have you listened to someone new? Yes, that is that is one that I knew, and I didn't know I knew it until I was listening to it. Because I've been, I told our other sister Madison that I've been furthering my musical education, or my musical knowledge, because I've just been like listening to Hozier on repeat now. Mm -hmm. I have it on Apple Music, and I'm just shuffling his entire discography on there, and I'm just listening. Um. Yeah, I adore him, like, and we went to this concert, and I look over at my mom, and she literally, it's like she has hearts in her eyes. She is obsessed with him now. She's like... She's like blush. She's like, I'm blushing. It's so cute. It was adorable. He is adorable, though. He is. And he has an Irish accent, and he said thank you after every single song. Oh my song. god, thank you so much. After every song, and it was so cute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, um... So there's a new Hozier obsession happening lately. With Ho all Hosier. 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 Ho how do you say it? Hosier? Hosier? I've always Ho said it Hosier. Hosier. But now I think it's like Hosier. He said his name and we were all like, oh, that's how you say it. And now I don't remember. I think it's Hosier. She, that girl, the girl that he was with, and I can't remember her name, the, his opener. And I can't remember her name, but she said it. And I think she said Hosier. Hosier. I don't Why remember. Why is it yay? Because it's... Yay? It's know. Irish. Yeah, I don't know. Hose, that sounds like Fred. Y'all know who we're talking about. <sighs> He's great. But him, he was really good live, too. Like, his, I just dropped drills everywhere. It oh, wouldn't be a Chloe diamond painting day if she didn't drop drills everywhere. It's fine. But, yeah. So we saw Hozier. He was great. We, have the, we adore him. Um, what are you reading, Tiffany? Um, I'm currently on my second read-through of Empire of Storms. I have slowed down quite a bit because I went through the first, what is, Empire of Storm is four or five? Mm, including the Kale book? Yeah, I include that in the series. But Kale, <sighs> that book is after. Is it? Yeah. Uh, and aren't they at the same time? Technically, but I'm not doing that tandem read. If that works for you, I love it for you, but I'm not tandem reading anything. I get too confused anyway. I would do. Uh, I think it's five... Five? Throne of Glass, number five, I think, Empire of Storms. And I'm like halfway through it. I'm listening to it on Audible because that's like my new favorite way to read books is Audible. Because I can do things like diamond paint or work and listen at the same time because I work from home. So it's always nice to be able to work and read at the same time with Audible. Not, or not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. Or audiobooks <laughs> in general. <laughs> Not as, even though it sounded like a commercial. It did sound like, like a commercial. <laughs> if you want to sponsor Chloe or oh, me specifically it. someday when I start a channel, there you go. Not uh, a sponsor, though. Not a sponsor. That's just what Audible. I use. <laughs> but with Audible. I don't, Audible's the one I use. Uh, That's just. You looked at me. I was, I was asking you, because you've read Thorny Glass. Yeah. Empire what Storms number, number Empire one. Storm is? I think it's five. I think. You're right. Six, because because Kingdom of Ash is seven, uh -huh. and the Kale book is six. Uh huh. So Empire of Storms is five. Yeah, those three books are my favorite, in not Kale's and Empires of Ash. But I like Kale's book. It's okay, but the it Her makes you like Air of Fire. Air of Fire is like number three. I know. Okay. Air of Fire, and then four and five, Queen of Darkness. Nope. Queen of Shadows. Queen of Shadows. Queen of Darkness. And uh, Empire of Storms. Those three are like my favorite in the whole series. But I don't know the order of four and five. Uh, Air Fire is my personal favorite. I loved Air Fire. Like that's the book that got me into Throne of Glass. Like I was reading Throne of Glass and I was having an okay time with it. And then I got to Air Fire and I was 
found Rowan. And uh, my life changed <laughs> you after found that. Rowan. Exactly. <laughs> um, I didn't get into Throne of Glass until Era of Fire. Because of Rowan. Uh, hot take, but Throne of Glass series is my favorite of Sarah J. Moss's series. It's really good. And reading it again, like, kind of has solidified that in me. I love Aelin. I love her. And I think that she is amazing. I need to reread them. Yes. I think you should. When I first read them, I was pretty young. I remember reading them on a road trip with just me and mom up to see our grandparents. Like, it was that long ago. Oh. Yeah. Um... And I think I was reading Queen of Shadows when we were visiting them. But I just, I uh, I don't think I was ready for it. It's a lot. Yeah. For a baby, it's a lot. Well, I wasn't a fetus. Were you, how old were you? I was probably like 14. Baby. <laughs> That's a baby. You act like I was a fetus. 14 fresh out of the womb, fresh, fresh of the glass. You walked out of the womb and started reading with Throne of Glass. 14 is a baby. Uh, but uh, I remember we were reading, maybe, it, maybe I was, I might have been older than that. I don't remember. Um, but I remember reading Queen of Shadows and I was so bored with it because of Manon. And that's why I think I need to give it another chance yes. because I'm more in my witchy era now, so I think I like her more. Manon's literally my second favorite character. I skipped over every single. I, this is this is a thing. You skip. You I skipped sh over every single thing on Manon's point of view. Oh my god! I you hated missed her. half of the story. I know. This is why I said I need to go back and reread it. I hated her that much. Like I was like, this isn't this isn't Selena. I don't want this. This isn't Selena and Rowan. I don't care about this, and so I skipped it. You were just into Selena and Rowan. Yep, literally. Um, Kale hated him. I still dislike. I don't hate him anymore, but I like the first couple books. He's pretty terrible. Uh, Dorian was okay. I liked him. I love Dorian. Uh, what's her face? People talk about her all the time. You're not Irene. That's not Irene. Uh, who's the girl with the ankle thing? Ugh, I just had her name. Uh, it sounds like... Elid. Elid. Yeah. Well, Sarah J. Last names is a whole other thing. But, um, yeah, I don't remember her or Lorcan at all, and people talk about them all the time, and I'm They're like, sweet. I don't remember these people. Yeah, you should re- I think you need to reread it. Yeah, me too. And you need to give Manon a fair chance. Oh, I yes. think I- <laughs> She's a queen. Yes. She's literally my second favorite- second favorite mass character. Who's like, your first? Probably Aelin. Do you have like... Okay, now we're gonna go through your top... Let's do like top five Sarah J. Moss characters then. Top five Sarah J. Moss characters. Aelin, Manon. Those are, Those are two. two. <laughs> yeah, I know. I have. That's the only two that we know for sure. Um, Reese, mm -hmm. Asriel, um, and probably... Feyre... <laughs> Maybe I don't know. It's either Cassian or Feyre. Like, and I feel bad having only one real main character in there, female main character. That's fine. But They're I just definitely, your favorites. It doesn't matter. I prefer Aelin to Feyre. Um, what are your favorite Sarah J. Moss characters? Top five Sarah J. Moss characters. I think Rhysand is number one. They're all gonna be male. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um... Are you a woman hater? No, I'm just not! Um, <laughs> uh, Rhysan and Asriel are definitely Asriel. up there. As I get older... I like Asriel I like more. Asriel more, yeah. and, like, he might even be my favorite of the three. I know I put Rhysan first. Um... It's because of the later books. Silver because, Flames ruined Cassian Because Sarah me. J. Moss hasn't ruined... Asriel yet. Asriel yet. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I like her books. Don't... We can't talk about that, because... And I know a lot of people love Silver Flames. I did not love Silver Flames. Me neither. Me neither. It ruined a lot of characters for me. They, like, ruined Resand in it. Yeah, they did. Um, but I I just forget that that book exists, and then Resand is still, you know, Resand. Yeah. Um, and that book kind of ruined Cassian for me, too. Why? <laughs> I don't know. He was the only one that I... Him and Asriel like, the only ones I came out of that book liking. I do like him still. I just... I don't know, reading from his point of view, or, like, him as the main... I think I need to read it again. Yeah, give it a second I chance. Do, I do love Cassian, so. Yeah. 
I just don't know if Cassian's in my top five. Azriel probably is. Azriel's in I my just, top five for sure. I was really listening to Akamoth and like, I like Amran a lot. Amran's actually. great. Anybody from Throne of Glass? Rowan. Rowan. Uh, I just don't remember people enough. Yeah, okay, so Reen. I liked the healer, actually. I remember Irene. she was like my favorite part of Kale's book is her. I like Irene a lot. I like her, but I don't know if she's in my top five. Um, yeah, I like her. Oh my god, the cereal. Oh, yeah, top how five. I forget about the cereal. Cereal is in my top five. I'm gonna amend mine now. Who are you kicking out? Who was the last one I put in? Um, Feyre. Feyre. The so, cereal the is cereal. number five. <laughs> The cereal might even be higher. I might have to re-rank. Aelin, Manon. The cereal. The cereal. <laughs> uh, Asriel, and then Resand. Okay, yeah. Rowan's probably my number five. I did not, okay. As much, I did not like Rowan the first time I read these books. I was like, I don't get it. I love him. I don't get it. I don't like him. Now I fucking love him. Excuse, are we allowed to cuss in this? Yeah, I don't care. Now I love him a lot. So this has just become a Sarah J. Maas rant. We can talk about other stuff. You just asked what book I was I reading. I know. That's what I I'm forgot you were reading Throne of Glass. It's fine. Yep. It's fine. I'm not. I'm not currently reading the book club book, even though I need to, because oh, I same. think isn't book club next week. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to read that this week. Uh huh. Me too. Um, we are in a family book club. It was my pick this time. I chose A Tempest of Tea, so I, that's a book I need to start. Honestly. Oh, what book am I reading? Hold on, what is it called? I need to pull up my Goodreads. Pulling up the Goodreads. I started a book because uh, it came out the third. It's a book I sent you on Instagram and like the fan art of it. And you were like, oh, I need to read this now. Phantom. Fanta fan. Fan. Phantasma. Phantasma. Phantasmia. I, fan can't, I can't yeah. remember it. What is Phantasma. it? Phantasma. Is it actually about a necromancer? Yes. Oh my god. I gotta read it. Wicked Games Part 1 by Kaylee Smith. Phantasma. Yeah. yeah, Phantasma. So it's actually about a necromancer. Yeah, so it's a dark... So that's gonna go on my TBR immediately, like, at the top. So I'm like, I think I'm nine chapters in, so okay. I, can, I can tell you what it's about. It. Okay. It's a dark fantasy romance. I haven't got to the romance part, though. That's probably why I haven't been reading it super fast. Um, well, that's something else cost me to stop reading it, too. But, so it's this girl and her sister. Her sister's really annoying. Because the main character's sister is always super annoying. Uh, I think cool. it's a, I think it's the trend of the protagonist. To have an annoying sister? Yeah. Um, so which one of us is the annoying sister? Are you, is she older or younger? She's the younger sister. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, no. Um, but you can't because Feyre is the youngest sister. And she's the best one. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, can we go back to Sarah Demos? No, okay, just move on. Uh, so her, their mother dies. They're in like New Orleans. Ooh. And so, I know. Is it about like voodoo? It kind of is. <gasps> um, so they're in New Orleans and their mother is this like spiritual person. Mm -hmm. And people will hire her to talk to the dead. What she is she? What is she called? She's a medium. A medium, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the correct term for it. Uh, but it's like magical too, cause cause she's actually doing it. Yeah, okay. like she has powers that let her do it, and like these powers turn their eyes blue. Oh. And so when they die, their powers pass on to the next of kin or whatever, the next in line. Mm -hmm. So it passes on to the oldest daughter. So your oldest daughter like accepts the magic and her eyes turn blue and now she can like see ghosts and talk to phantoms and stuff like that. Okay. Um, and there, it gives Caraval vibes because basically it's leading up to this event called Fan Phantom Taz Phantasma. Phasm it's literally yeah. right in front Phantasma. of you. Phantasma. <laughs> Phantasma. And I just got to where she's entering the Phantasma event because guess what? Her sister goes missing. <sighs> And she has to go try to save her sister. If you now. ever go missing and I have to join a game to go find you, I mean, I would do it. But I'm going to oh. be real mad about it. I thought you were going to say, I'm out. I'm no, not no, doing it. I would do it. I just... If I had to I join Carnival for these. you, I'm out. I have some special drills in this mixed in because I'm... Can, I don't know if you can see it. You might be able to see it on this camera. But there's... I have black fairy dust mixed in with her cape, the black in her cape. 
Because mm -hmm. I want it to look like her cape has stars in it. Oh. And these, this glows in the dark. I added special drills to this. There's a bunch. She's I have, always adding special drills. Yeah, yeah. This is my special drill container. All from DP with sparklers. These are, the, this is all for this painting. So yeah, this is what I have in there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, they can. You're good. Um, anyway, she has to join this ma magical uh, event trial caraval like thing mm -hmm. for to find her sister. If her sister's involved, I swear to God. I bet she is. I'm only on chapter nine, but um, a character named Lucy showed up. Oh, and then I, I had see. to put it down. I understand. Every time Lucy showed up, I would start crying. Oh no. I know. It was like literally, I was listening to it the day that we had to put Lucy down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so every time Lucy showed up, I was just started crying. Oh, but it's yeah. okay. That would make sense. Yeah. That's hard. And I haven't picked up the book since. So it's been a week. I haven't read it. Mm. I was going to film. I had a, a whipping shot ready to post and then never posted it and ended up deleting it right before Disneyland. Why? Because I just didn't like how it turned out. But I was going to in that in that whipping shot, I got on a whole spiel about Zodiac Academy. Ugh. You can still do it. I've never read Zodiac Academy, so you can just, just steal. Um, this is still your video. I know. I, I was going to go into it. So Good. I read Zodiac Academy books one through nine by Carolyn Peckham. Is that the right? Hold on. It's written by two people and Susan Valent. And uh, they are... Did they talk while writing I don't know, honestly. <laughs> it's a mess of a book. Um... A mess of a series, but it's a fun series. It's, there's a lot of character points. So this is my thing that I had an issue with Throne of Glass too. There's so many, so much going on and there's mm -hmm. so many point of views happening. That it's muddled and lost kind of a thing. The first Zodiac book starts with only two point of views because of their two end sisters. But like, in book nine, you're suddenly like 30% of the way in the book and you get a new point of view of someone you've never seen before who's just a random classmate who has nothing to do with the story that's going on and you only get that point of view once and then you never get them again. What the heck? It's a mess. But, um, yeah. And, like, I feel like after book four they should have just stopped. They should have just wrapped it up in four books and it would have been much better. I you just, devoured it, though. I did. I read, like, four... I read all nine books within, like, a week. And they're chonky books. I, like, I was staying up to, like, six in the morning to finish these books. Like, they are very... Very entertaining. Um, they are trash, but like entertaining trash, you know? I should be using a bigger multi placer. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you want to know what Gavin found out the other day when he was sitting in my room when we were watching drag? <laughs> Such a weird sentence. Um, <laughs> you know those Shatter Me books, the fairy loot ones? Yeah. That I got off a of D stash? Yeah. They have art on the other side of the. Yeah. I didn't know. There's like beautiful art of all the characters on the other side of the dust cover and I didn't even know. Tiffany. I know. I, they're all swapped now and I was like, these are stunning. It's so cute. I didn't even know. I was shook. I found that out. Gavin found that out. Did you, um, oh, we can talk about Shadow, are we? Uh, how do you feel about the new book coming out? Do we know what it's about? Uh, it's James. about Adam? James. James. James is the child. It's like 10 years later or something like that. I'm okay with it, but I'm going to be reserved because I was super excited for the other three. Mm -hmm. Restore me. What are they called? Believe? No, Believe Me is the novella. Mean. I liked Believe Me, though. Did you ever read Believe Me? No, I haven't read Believe Girl, Me yet. I have thought. it now. I can read it. Um, you had my copy for I know. Years, I never read it. And never I'm read really it. bad at reading, okay? <laughs> Some days I don't want to do it at all. Um, Honestly, I feel that. Especially physical books. If I have it on, if I had it on audiobook, I would listen to it but immediately. it's just a little novella. Yeah, I know. Um, I was really excited for the extension, like the, the three new ones, and then it turned out to be like the exact same story. Mm -hmm. It was like the same story, but they, you know, there was more Aaron and Juliet, which I liked, but... It was, I don't, it felt the same to me. I still like it. It's still, the, Sh the Shatter Me series is still one of my favorite series of all time. But, I'm excited. Reservedly excited. Is that a word? Sure. Reservedly. It's our word today. But yeah. 
I'm excited. Did you finish your Zodiac Academy rant? I, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I interjected good. about Gavin finding those covers because I got excited. And then, today I want to slam stuff on the table. Fairy loot sent me an email and they were like, we're opening the fairy trove. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll just look and see. And they freaking had the fairy loot version of Hurricane Wars. And I bought it because I've been looking for that book and I was about to spend $200 on the fairy loot version of that book. But then fairy loot came in clutch. Have you read it yet? No. I started reading it and I liked it so far. Do you think I'm not going to like it? It's literally a Ray... I, I've heard it was like a Raylo fanfic, so that's why you know I'm going to like it. I don't know anything about it. Isn't it by the same person who wrote... It's not. Daughter of the Moon Goddess? No. Why did I think they were in the same series? It's not. Oh. Who, who writes... It's like Ava something, I thought. I could be wrong. But I'm excited. I'm so excited for that book. I haven't read it, but the cover is beautiful. It's like the most beautiful, beautiful fairy loot cover I've ever seen. And I, I just, I know I'm going to like it. And it was not, like, at least I didn't spend two hundred dollars on it. Yeah. I definitely I wasn't going books. to spend that much money on it if I hadn't read it. So I was gonna read it before I bought mm -hmm. it from somebody else. Did I tell you? Did you see my special edition of What the River Knows? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, they're doing a edition. Um. For the second one too, and I'm gonna try to grab it. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Ruto. I just restarted I my. Um. Come on. I just restarted my. Uh, Fairland subscription? Or no? Yeah, I just got the adult one, book only. It's sh it like my. I just got charged for the first one. Oh. Here. Yeah, I do the YA one only. Hey you. I used to do the boxes of stuff, and then I just ended up with way too much stuff that I never used. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, hi, Rudo. You can see her in that one. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, her whole paw. This one on she your sticky. All, she does that all the time. It's the perks of she being a cat when you diamond paint. The yeah. perks of being a cat. Mm -hmm. A cat owner. Hi, a baby. cat owner. That's a perk. Yeah. Your cat, you will forever be able to clone you'll your find, cats. Yep, you'll find cat paw prints mm. in your glue. By the amount of hair that gets stuck in a diamond painting canvas. You know? Mm -hmm. This is just to show you that Chloe's cats aren't the only ones that get involved when <laughs> you diamond paint. Rosie fully will walk across my canvas. Well, and I'm like, okay, knows she's girl. not on the table. Well, that's just on my desk. They're allowed on my yeah. desk. Who am I to stop them from going on my desk? I try to stop Flynn all the time from getting on my desk, so. Oh, yeah. Because he's annoying. Because he's a menace? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This washi tape. I think it's from Fairy Loot, and it kind of sucks. <laughs> washi tape is very hit or miss for me. Yeah. But like, it, if it sucks, I'm going to throw the whole roll away. I'm not even, I don't have time for that. Well, I have a lot of pretty ones when I used to bullet journal. Mm-hmm. But they don't do great on like dime painting canvases. But they're fine. They're like pretty. I have to use scotch tape in the corners. Of your dime painting? Like here. Like you put the washi tape down and I scotch tape the corner so it doesn't pop up. Smart. I got that from somebody on YouTube. Oh. I don't well, know I'm who though, so it. if it was you. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> Appreciated. Okay. I've literally like been doing one color this whole time because we've been talking too much. Well, not talking too much, but just... Isn't that the whole point of a wizard? Yes, it is, okay? <sighs> Usually I just do more because I'm by myself and I'm lonely, okay? Oh. And I'm forcing my sister to do it with me. You're not... I'm... Well, yeah, I will... Okay. I'm kind of forcing it. <laughs> let's, let's be honest. I literally shouted at you to do this with me. You ever just accidentally drop your pen? Yeah. I asked the diamond printing group that we're in for a, a questions to ask Tiffany because they know Tiffany very well. <laughs> and they said, <clears throat> why won't Tiffany respond to your text slash calls? How dare she ignore you? <laughs> All right. <Let's> out you. <laughs> let's be, let's, let's, let's uh, talk about it. My phone was on the charger and I didn't have it right next to me. And so I didn't know it was ringing because who puts the ringer on? Not me. Missiles. Couldn't be me. Um, 
I was trying to call her. And she called me twice. For forever this morning, and she was just ignoring me. And I was like, wow, I guess you don't want to do this me. And then she get she got on the Discord, and she called me out. Because she is messaging people on the Discord. <laughs> I can literally see that she's online, and she's just ignoring okay, so, my text Okay, so for some calls. reason, my phone, my phone suppresses all other... Like, cause the Discord, the Discord notifications were currently happening, so it suppresses old stuff. So I didn't see the phone. I mm -hmm, called you mm -hmm. immediately. Let's talk about how often I text you and you don't answer me. It's not the same. But it is the same. <laughs> I have, I have walls of text where I'm just talking and she says, "Okay," or it does, or ignores me completely. I'm the worst at texting. Okay, but if you call me, I'll answer. Sometimes. What's the last time you called me and I didn't answer? Let's look. I FaceTimed you twice at Disneyland. And you didn't answer me. Well, that's probably because we were on Pirates yeah. and you were trying to call us back. Yep. Because Snapchat video sucks. Um, literally, you don't. I don't have any from you that are... I don't have any from you lately, anyway. <laughs> but she does suck at answering texts. I do. And I don't know Or me Facebook messages. Okay, but groups are a lot different. Anyways... Um, the second question was, who's the best sister? Who's the best sister? Mm -hmm. It's, I'm the best sister. I knew you were going to say it that way. I knew you were going to say it that way. I'm like, she's not going to choose between me or the other one. Me or the, the other, other one. one. <laughs> Madison. She's just going to say herself. I'm the best sister. Okay. <laughs> All my sisters are best sisters, including Nathan. <laughs> the honorary sister. Yeah. Who is a brother, but... He is the sister. How much longer do you want to dime paint for? I don't care. I could diamond paint all day. Oh. I really want to make... You want to make cucumber salad? I do want to make cucumber salad. Let's talk about cucumber salad. salad. Um, it is currently... Everybody likes it, but let me tell you, it has changed my day-to-day -day life. Because I am eating cucumbers every day. I really want to go make some cucumbers. And my blood sugar is happy about it. Oh my god, it's so yummy. Yeah. I've been making it the past like three days. I've been eating a whole cucumber. And I'm obsessed. Let's talk about the ones I've made. Okay. Just let's talk about me. Just let's just talk. <laughs> this is an interview with Tiffany. Let's talk about me. Okay. Um, besides being the best sister, I like cucumber salad right now. And, and my favorite is the, these are all from Logan's Food, his Instagram. I'm not taking credit for this. Logan's Food. Um, it's a the Italian sub one. I haven't seen that one. It's cucumbers, obviously. Um... Salami, pe like banana peppers and a little bit of the banana oh. pepper juice. Tomatoes, um, to little balls one. of mozzarella cheese. <sighs> it's, I'm missing something and I can't. Oh, red vinegar mm -hmm. and a little bit of, there's something else. I have it right now. And a whole cucumber. And a whole cucumber, obviously. Yes. Um, I have MSG. I really? have not been putting... I've tried it a couple times. I literally don't notice a difference. What is it? Like, why... It's just... It's just... It's, it's a like a right flavor now? enhancer. But oh. it's in a lot of stuff. It's in a ton of things. Oh. Um, I see it in, like, all his videos that I'm like, what? Why? Okay, salami, banana peppers and juice, tomatoes, red onion, baby mozzarella, Dijon mustard, and red wine vinegar. And, like, salt and that pepper. That sounds delicious. It's my favorite one. I've just been doing, like... What we have at the house, so like soy sauce, garlic, like the basic one. I love like that one. Onions and yes, stuff like that. I love that one. So the one I tried recently was the peanut butter one. It's like peanut butter. That's just it's not, peanut it's butter and cucumbers so, does not no, good. No, it's to me. so good. It's like pad thai sauce. Oh, see, I don't like like peanut sauce and stuff like that. Oh though. well, then you probably won't like it. I'm really it's excited. Definitely peanut sauce. Right before this, we went to the store. I got smoked salmon. So I'm really excited to do the cream cheese. Do you have capers? Yeah. Cream cheese, capers, smoked onion. salmon, onion, and um, cucumber. I think it sounds... Oh, everything bagel. Everything bagel seasoning. It's, it's basically like a lox of bagels, yeah. but on a cucumber slice. It's so good. Yeah, I've been obsessed with it. I made literally two... Th <laughs> Okay, Paya. I think Flynn is over there too, but I don't that's, know. If it's Flynn, that's fine. Just not Mimo? Just not Mio. And she, well, Ruto. She's mean to Ruto too. Oh, a bunch of bullies in this there house. There is a bunch of bullies in this house. And their names are Paya and Bullies in this house. Flynn. Last night, we were playing Overwatch together. 
mm -hmm. or before you joined us and after and when during you were playing with us because we're all on an Overwatch kick right now. Um, I had two, I had two bowls, like two things of cucumber salad. Like I made one while we were waiting for a comp game, mm -hmm. and then finished it. And then when we were waiting for you to join us, went and made another one. <laughs> it's so eat. good. Did I'm you eat obsessed. two whole cucumbers then? And they were like baby. They were like oh, they're okay. not huge cucumbers that I'm buying. So I eat. It's like the deli container, right? And I fill it, and I eat the whole thing. Yeah. It's like, it's a problem. Nathan eats like half, and he's like, I'm too full. And I'm like, it I'm doesn't over fill here me up. shoveling cucumber into my mouth. I'm really excited to try more of them. I don't, I'm obsessed. Like, I was, you guys were, have been obsessed with it for a while, and then, like, two nights ago, I was scrolling while sleeping, and, like, all his videos started popping up. You were scrolling while you were sleeping? <laughs> you know, like, at four trying in the morning when you're trying yeah, to yeah. sleep, and you end up just doom scrolling? Yeah, and all his videos came up, and so I've just been watching them, and now I really want the smoked salmon one. Okay, well, do, we have the stuff. Okay. The tuna one is really good, too. What is and it? I did, it's just tuna and mayo. Like tuna. Oh, like Japanese mayo? Tuna, kewpie mayo, yeah. um, sesame oil, and then I put kimchi in mine, and it kimchi. was so good. Oh, I was so going to go to the good. store and get some kimchi today. I forgot. See, now I just want to go make it. We will. When okay. we're done here, we'll go make it. I'm gonna promise. finish my black at least and then. How long do you usually do this for? 40 ish minutes. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? No. I mean, I was just. I usually just talk about things that have happening, books I've read. What are you music. watching? <sighs> to take a. Um, to take a. What are you watching right now? Because I like when people ask that in whipping chats. Oh. I never talk about what I'm watching. Um. Yesterday I watched the How to Turn Your Dragon trilogy. <laughs> Literally, I'm obsessed with it. I like, I remembered it existed and I was like, I'm gonna watch that right now. You forgot it well, existed? I don't forget. I have a tattoo of Toothless on me. Like, I love it so much, but usually my comfort is to go to Avatar The Last Airbender and I was like, what is another comfort movie I could watch? And I was like, How to Train a Dragon. So I watched I was it. thinking about Mulan Rouge yesterday. Oh. And I was like, I wanna watch it. Oh, we watched, um, well, we watched the new Haunted Mansion. I love that movie. Which I've seen twice now and I really like. Um, I but okay, but I like the old haunted mansion. No, the with Eddie, Eddie Murphy, Murphy one is not. Good. It's hilarious. It's not good, but it's hilarious. <laughs> it's like, trash. I think it's hilarious. Um, we also watched a stupid movie. What is it called? What about Bob? What about Bob? I freaking hate that movie. I wanted uh, to leave. Uh, <laughs> I love Bill Murray, but I hate that movie. It's like it's probably because it was what made in like the 80s or 90s mm -hmm. or something like that but it's like this dude is like autistic and yeah like, i don't know i feel like they could have gone about it they didn't i don't think they, they knew. knew what autism was or like what like autistic. i don't think they really knew what it was um I yeah fix this. but i'm like it's i feel like it's pretty stereotypical like i don't know it doesn't fe feel very um i haven't seen it since high school like, they yeah. made us watch it in a high school class. And I don't what? remember what high school class it was. Was it like a psychology or something like that? I didn't that? take a psychology class. It feels so. like it would be in a psychology class. Maybe health class? Oh, because he's like a germaphobe? Maybe health class? I don't know. But, I don't know. He's only a germaphobe for the first 20 minutes of the movie. And then it all goes away. And suddenly he's hugging people and shaking people's hands and opening doors without the tissue. And I'm like, it just disappears. It's like Bella and her, uh, her, her blood her fear. Her blood aversion, yeah. what's it called? Which isn't in the movie. I know, because it was barely in the book. Yeah, I guess you're right. They were like, what, this has, well, I mean, look, I haven't seen all the movies. I mean, neither. I did read all the books. We, we not, we're not going to go into Twilight right now. Well, we can if you want. No. We're in the Twilight season. I am not a fan of Twilight, so I'm not going to be... I've read the first two books. You haven't read all the books? No, I was doing a buddy read with my friend, and What's we got to book that? two, and I finished it. And then Madison, our other Wanted sister, to join. and another friend of ours, and my bestie, who I was currently reading them with, we all started a new group chat where we're reading Twilight together, so I had to go back and read the first book again, and I didn't want to do that to myself, so I'm just waiting until I get to book three. Mm. If that makes sense. But, like... We are supposed to be, we started book one like months ago and like no one's done with it. So oh. 
It's a time. It's fine. I loved them when they came out, and I read them as they released. Yeah. Um, but the last book I despise. So. Great. I can't wait. I despise it. Can't wait. I, I understand I why people the last like. Movie, so I haven't I, either. Like I know some. Like I know the baby, and the Jacob imprinting. You named you nicknamed her after <laughs> the, the Loch Ness monster. monster? Oh, uh, that's another. We were talking about this earlier. Movies that we quote a lot. I probably quote Twilight a lot. You do? Yeah. What do you quote? Where from the hell Twilight? you been, Loka? <laughs> <laughs> this is the skin of a killer, Bella. Those like, are quotes I see a lot, but I don't think I use them oh, a lot I see in my them daily all the life. Time. But yeah, I feel like Twilight's a quotable movie. I don't, I don't know. I quote Mulan all the time. Yeah. And now that like now that we're thinking about it, I can't tell you what I quote because I don't know because my brain says, "Oh, it doesn't work when you're actually trying to remember." But Mulan, New Girl, New Girl all the time. Mhm. Mm um Hercules sometimes. It's a lot of Disney movies. Well, yeah, it's cuz we've seen Disney so many times. But like I'll quote Avatar Last Airbender, not The, the Boulder. The Boulder feels conflicted. Um, what other ones? I don't quote How to Train Your Dragon. It doesn't feel super quotable to me. There are some really good lines. Like, thanks for nothing, you, you, you use this <laughs> reptile. But, like, there's some good lines. It's just, like, I don't find use for them in my daily life. Like, there's a lot of sarcasm between Hiccup, that Hiccup gives, you know? Yeah. But I'm trying to think of quotes that I use now for Mulan. I know I constantly talk about, like, I'm constantly quoting Mulan, but now I can't think of anything that I say. Can you? Dishonor. <laughs> Dishonor. That's the obvious one. Um, Dishonor on you. Um, Dishonor on your cat. What is the one? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I like the, uh... Bob. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, it's the, um, oh, you can come sit by me, because of he's You want to stay forever? Yeah, that one. Oh my god. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of Mushu quotes. Mm. My little baby's all growing up. Yeah. And saving China. Oh, that's not even it. See, I don't like this, because I'm on camera and I'm, fl I'm floundering. Mm. Fake fan. Mm. Fake fan. It's okay. If I would, I would quote more books, but there's not enough people. Oh, Emperor's me. New Groove is one that I quote oh, a lot, too. Yeah. I feel like as a group, when we're all together, that's what we quote a lot. Mm -hmm. There's certain, like, ones that we all say all the time. But New Girl, for sure. There's New Girl quotes that just live in my brain. They, like, hide. They're, like, sleeper agents. The only one I and they hide pink one. The, they hide in my brain until the right time, and then I'm like, oh, I know a quote for this. Or let me get my card. Use! <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my Cardi and pink wine makes me slutty. Those are the old two. Get man, girl. Get crazy. <laughs> That's a that? Nick Miller quote. Oh, I bet there's a lot of good Nick Miller quotes though. Mm -hmm. um, um, anytime anybody mentions Chicago, it's I'm Julius Pepperwood. I'm from Chicago. <laughs> Deep dish pizza? No, thank you. I'm from Chicago. Or is thin crust big, pizza. It's thin Miller crust thing? pizza. I think. Yeah. He, it's his, like, alter ego. Is it his author? Yeah, well, so it's his alter ego. There's this whole, there's going to be spoiler warnings for New Girl in here. Um, Jess is teaching in an adult school. Yep. And she is worried about her, one of her students. Like, she, she finds him creepy. And he's drawing these pictures with, like, animals that are dead with huge, like, soulless eyes and bangs that look like Jess. So they think that he's going to kill Jess. And so Nick is so worried because Nick is avoiding working on his book or something like that. He's avoiding something. And he goes to the class and he's like, Juli I'm Julius Pepperwood. And that's like his alter ego. And he pretends to be in the class? And he's in the class, yeah. And so he's a... Uh, it's hilarious. I love Julius Pepperwood. I'm from Chicago. Um, oh, all day? Like when all you, day? All day! Um, 29? 29? Yeah, yeah, that one. I do that one all the time, too. Yep. Like, so there's just new girl quotes that live in my brain. Um, or, like, just Schmidt screaming when he finds out that Jess made out with his dad. Oh. 
just the scream. Uh. I can't do that. But just the scream lives in my head rent free. Uh. And if you've seen it, you know it. Isn't there like hot guy alert? Ooh. <laughs> what is it that she does? With hot the, like, guy alert. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> with her glasses. Um, oh. Or when she talks about, or they sing that song and I'm not going to sing it because I don't want um, time of my, from time of my life from. Oh, yeah. I want to do the freaking drinking game that they play in New Girl. What is it called? Uh, American. True American. True American. I feel like we should all get together and do True American and some of us don't drink. So I feel like we'd have to figure it out. We can make a fun version of it where you don't necessarily have to drink. Alcohol. I think you can find. Um, I think there's literally instructions online, like how to play it. I think people have watched enough. enough. The, I think if there was less stuff in here, I think we could have the space. Like, I think playing it would be so fun. I think so too. Or we just rent a house. Like, we go on a vacation and rent a hu house with a huge Airbnb? living room. Oh, yeah. Something like that. An Airbnb with a huge living room. And play True American. Yeah. I, um, speaking of games, I want to play d d so bad. Like, there's a ton of things I, I want to do game-wise. I've thought about streaming games, but I, then I'm like... I don't know if I want to. I just stream. Right now I'm playing. To our Discord and that's yeah, it. Yeah. Right now I'm playing Dragon Age Inquisition because the new Dragon Age game comes out in October. And I need. Uh, Inquisition is so long that I need to do it now, replay it, mm -hmm. like fully. Because I've played it multiple times when it first came out, but it's been 10 years. So I. And Dragon Age is one of my favorite game series of all time. So I've, I either stream that right now or I stream The Sims. I think streaming Sims could be fun. I kind of want to do Animal Crossing. Mm -hmm. um, I've been on a Guild Wars kick recently. I haven't is... logged into my Guild Wars account in like a year and a half. I know. I can see how long it's been since you logged on. How long has it been? I, I feel like you and Nathan are in like the two year mark. Yeah. Um, um, I want to play Call of Duty for some reason. Like zombies recently, I've been wanting to play. We've just been playing a ton of Overwatch. Like, well, I was retired. Well, now you're out of retirement, so we gotta play it as much as possible. <laughs> but um, we've been like playing comp Overwatch, which we have we never really do comp because comp stresses me out. Comp is stressful. But recently playing it, we've noticed that comp has been less toxic than normal quick play. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, which is wild to me. But, uh, Overwatch, I'm a widow man. Tiffany is a diva main. Do you still think you're, is it still diva? Yeah, is when diva I get, yeah, main? diva's still my main. Life Weaver is just now my second. Yeah, Life Weaver's fun. Life, I do tank. I mainly tank, but I also will do heal, uh, support. I am not What's a damage, damage girly. Um, Kenji. Uh oh. And I'm not good at it. Like, <laughs> I don't damage, so when I have to, it's like Genji was literally just because I was like I liked that Why mythic skin. I think skin. you played Reaper. I have played Reaper because mm. he's easy. Um, I'm not a damage girly at all. Not a damage girly. No. See, and if I could only play damage, I would. Then do it. No, because I would only. I would love the. I was so irritated last night because I was like in the tank. I was in tank and healing, and I kept getting fucking support, and I was like, let me play my tank. Yeah. Um, but it's fun. Like I'm over though. it. Like, I've been playing Ana a lot. I love Life Weaver. He's, He's so fun. fun. Uh, do you know it's fun too? I Did can't, you play Juno? I've tried and I can't. It was, I got her once in Mystery Heroes and died immediately, so. Uh, and we've been playing Overwatch since it came, it came Overwatch out. 1. Mm -hmm. And I still can't understand Zarya. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, when I first started playing, I was a Symmetra main. And then they changed Symmetra, and I haven't really touched her since. Because she annoys me now. We're just chatting. She's going to have... Uh, this is a long one. This is going to be a long one from chat. It's fine. People can deal with it. I can have a long video every long so often. Long videos are nice. I like it long is. videos. And now Tiffy will watch this, but she won't because she's I won't watch it. it because I'm in it. Yep. <laughs> and I was going to say she can watch it and whip to it, but she won't because she's in it. Because Tiffany won't support me, even if she. Oh my it. god, shut up! I finally watched that stupid one with my bag review. The That's Disney true. one. It wasn't bad at all. <laughs> Girl, my bad, my bag review. Ugh. Tiffany has been in previous videos, and she like refuses to watch them because she's in them. You have stopped diamond painting. I know, we're just talking now. <laughs> we can be done. I don't know, it's good. I want to make cucumber salad. I want to do a diamond painting stash video. Okay. 
should do it. Do you need help? I don't know. This seems like a lot of work. That's why I don't do it. You have, how many do you have? Uh, not in the hundreds. That's fine. It, that's all you need to say. It, I don't think it, it's, it's a lot of work. It's me saying that I've never done one, but I would assume it's a lot of work, but I think it would be, I have stash videos are some of my favorite videos to watch. Like, I love bookshelf videos. Like mm -hmm. when people show off, like they do the whole bookshelf tour that those videos take me hours and hours and hours to do yeah. like, and your stash, you'd have to get your stash out. Yeah. But I think it's, I think those are fun videos. I think if you want to do more diamond painting videos on your channel, I think stash videos are a good, a good option. Anything else you want to say? No. This Any... was fun. I'm sorry. It was really rambly. That's fine. It's us. We're, it's literally just us chatting. This We're... is how we talk normally. <laughs> it's a chaotic time. We jump from topic to topic real fast. Um... Do you want to promote your Instagram or anything like no, that? No, I'm good. Okay. I do have an Instagram, but it I don't post on it. Your diamond painting one? No, I don't post on it. I don't post on any of them. Like, I have my personal one. I never post pictures. My diamond painting one, I could tell you the last picture, I, the last time I posted there. You don't do updates? or like? I thought no, you I used to. I used to, and I just stopped. Like, you know what? I did the same for my bookstagram. I, like, stopped posting on it. For the year. Oh, how many diamond paintings have you finished this year? This year? Mm hmm I can tell you. Hold on. Where's I need I have a spreadsheet. Twelve this year? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can guess how many I finished. One? Yeah. <laughs> I bet you can name it too. I don't think I Persephone. Yeah. I don't think I can name half of yours. And then you just finished Alice. Alice. Right? Oh, she's on here. Oh, so you have So 13? I have more, 13. <sighs> I have one. That's okay. 13, <laughs> I finished 13 this year. I finished one. Then Do it wasn't even a full one because I've been working on it for three years. You have been busy this year. Uh, You'll get it. You'll finish this one. We'll make sure she finishes this one this year. We're gonna say bye now. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'll finish this one. Let's Are you gonna we'll actually say bye? Yeah, bye. Right. Bye guys, <laughs> this was fun. Thanks for watching. Tell me if you never ever want to see me on this channel oh ever gosh. again. You're entertaining. I don't know what you're thinking. Okay. Well. I'm the annoying sister uh, is what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm the best and also the annoying one. No. Um, to circle back. We'll make her come back.